so the new Hispori boss released along with the Kebos Lowlands update, and so far I haven't seen any guides on how to kill it, so I figured I would make one myself. On screen now I have timestamps listed to each part of the guide, so feel free to skip to whatever part you need. To grow Hespori, you need to obviously get a Hespori seed first, and plant it in the cave in the medium part of the farming guild. It takes about 32 hours to grow, and as far as I'm aware it's impossible for the seed to die while it's being grown. For stats, I would recommend having 50 plus in all your melees, as well as having a decent prayer level. You can do it at a lower level, but kills may be a bit more difficult. In terms of gear, you can kill Hespori using either melee or ranged, however, I'd recommend melee because it is weak to slash, it's weak to slash, and kills will be much faster. With something like a blowpipe, you can kill it kind of almost as fast, but you're going to be hitting a lot of zeros, so even in max range, kills can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute longer, so as a result, I will be using melee during this guide. Here's the setup I used, obviously some of this is fairly expensive or time consuming to get, and you can swap it out for whatever you have or don't have. In the description I'll include a link to a website that will tell you the best in slot gear you can use for slash based attacks. You just type in your username at the top, press the scimitar button, and it'll show you the best gear you can wear. If you can't afford that gear or don't have it, you can press a little X on it and it'll show you the next best item. If you don't want to do all that, this is also a setup of relatively cheap or free gear that will also give you some good prayer bonus. The boss typically tends to not hit very high if you're meleeing as long as you're praying magic, so even in lower level gear like this you should be fine. For your inventory you're going to want an antidote plus plus or an anti-poison, a spade so you can dig up the rewards after you finish the kill, a super combat or a super set, if you're meleeing, you should still bring a blowpipe or some darts, which I will explain why later, and just fill the rest with food and prayer potions. Hispori's mechanics are extremely simple and are just kind of a combination of other bosses seen throughout RuneScape. Regardless, I'm going to cover each one so you can be prepared. The first one are these flower buds. When they are active, Hispori cannot be damaged. These open up three times during the fight. The first at the very beginning, second when Hespori is at 66% health, and the third at 33%. The reason I said to bring a blowpipe is because you only need to hit these things once to kill them, and the blowpipe allows you to do that relatively quickly, even when you're in full melee gear you're still going to hit. I also recommend just having your blowpipe or darts equipped at the start of the fight rather than your whip or whatever other weapon you chose to use. The second mechanic used is called rooting. Basically, you'll see this little root animation and a message in your chat box that says you've been rooted. To get out of this, you just spam click away on a different tile to struggle out of the roots. If you don't do this, you can get hit for around 40 damage, which for some players could mean instant death. Lastly, Hispori attacks with two styles, magic and ranged. Since we're going to be wearing melee gear for this fight, you're going to want to protect from magic. Hispori occasionally will hit through your prayer, but the damage is significantly reduced. Hispori's magic attack looks like it's twirling around in the air and flinging its arms out, and the ranged attack looks like green clouds being thrown at you. One more thing I want to mention before we get to the actual fight. If you do die during this fight, you can reclaim your items from Arno outside the cave. However, if you die again before you reclaim your items, even if you die somewhere else, your items will be lost permanently. So now that I've explained all this, let's actually start the fight. Before going to the fight, I would highly recommend just drinking a sip of your antidote or anti-poison, which is something I forgot to do so I get poison later on in the fight. After doing that, activate your protect from magic and attempt to harvest a spori. Kill all the flower buds and after doing that, if you have piety, toss that on and start meleeing. From here on out, the fight is pretty simple. Eat when you take damage, use a prayer pot if you have to, and kill the flower buds again when they appear. Hispori is a very simple boss, so even if this is your first time PVMing, I wouldn't be too scared, especially because you can just reclaim whatever you lose. So that's all for this video. I'm going to let the rest of this fight run out for anyone that wants to see it so they can be even more prepared. But if this guide helped you, make sure to drop a like, and I will see you in the next one.